Well, let me tell you something, brother. Snort, snort, snort. Tell you. Drip, snort, snort. I got the drip. Now, after I finished with Street Fighter 6 last night, I went to work on DSP Throwback, which is my newly rebranded channel. It used to be called KO Gaming, but I've rebranded the channel now for 2024. And what this channel is going to be is a legacy content channel. Now did my frame rate just dip? Did you see that? What is going on? Did the frame rate on my webcam just dip? It looks like I'm at less than 30 frames. I am. I'm choppy now. <laughs> what is going on? First, I didn't like the camera angle. Now it looks like the frame rate has chopped up. Does it look choppy to you guys too? <laughs> what is going on in the podcast today? I don't think I can fix that either. All I can do is like mess around with the resolution, but I don't think that's going to fix it. No, it's not Comcast. It's on my computer locally. You guys think it looks fine? Maybe it's just on my end then. Because sometimes the preview that I see is not representative of what you guys see. Hold on a second here. Here's 720. It even looks... Oh! What happened to the... Now what happened? Why am I in the dark? Why did 720p make it go dark? What is going on here? Why would it do that? I give up. I guess we're just going to continue. I, I'm at a loss. I don't get it. <laughs> anyway, let's continue. So, basically last night, I finished with the, Res the, uh, the Resident Evil, the Street Fighter stream, and I want to get to work on the DSP throwback channel. So, for those who don't know, my old channel, KO Gaming, which is from 2016, was an edited content channel where I did highly edited reviews countdowns, series, and things that basically took a lot of time. It wasn't live gameplay. It wasn't streaming. It was edited style on-demand videos. It did really well for a year. Okay? Really well for a year. And then what happened? YouTube demonetized it for literally no reason. Every video I uploaded to the channel was already demonetized before it even went live. When I asked YouTube why, they gave me the form letter response of here's what's not allowed for monetization. I said, my channel has none of that, so why are you doing it? And they would ignore me. So basically, I gave up on it. Um, I used it as a backup channel for a while when my this channel actually got hit with a bunch of nonsense and I was not able to upload to it for like a month. So I used it as a backup upload channel and I got the monetization back at that point. That was around 2018. But I haven't used that channel since 2018. Over the last few years, you guys have asked me, would you ever upload your lost playthroughs, your lost media content like Final Fantasy 13 or Red Dead Redemption or L.A. Noir? And I said, well, I, if I could find them, I went to my closet and found them, okay? So I explained the whole idea of this new DSP throwback channel yesterday on this show. If you didn't see it, I recommend you watch yesterday's show. It'll fully explain it. So last night... I went over and KO Gaming has now been rebranded. It's now DSP Throwback. So you can access it right now. It's youtube.com forward slash at DSP Throwback. If you're interested in this new project and if you're interested in seeing the legacy content come back in a new creative and more modernized way, please go over there, give it a look, and please subscribe to the channel. All right? So last night I did a vlog. It was only about 10 minutes and all it did was explain the premise of the channel. And I want to say thanks within 24 hours, or excuse me, within 12 hours, the video already exceeded a 1,000 views and is climbing. That's great. It shows that there is some initial interest in the channel. Already there's over 100 new subscribers and climbing. So there are people who are interested in seeing this project, okay? So last night, after I had uploaded that video, I said, hey, I think I am going to upload um, the first... I don't know, let's say two hours of my Final Fantasy 13 playthrough, okay? Because here's the thing. By uploading those videos, I can check and see are there any issues with them on YouTube? Because if I'm going to work on this channel and I'm going to edit those videos together into you know longer videos, if I'm going to run them through filters and processing to make them look better, I need to make sure the content is okay, right? I need to make sure YouTube's going to accept the content. What about copyright issues and all of that, right? So... I uploaded uh, about 11 or 12 videos to the channel just to do a test. First thing I noticed, already there's a problem, okay? So here's a big difference from how videos used to be done back in the day versus how they're done now, okay? So back in the day, when you used to upload to YouTube, 
okay? You would op open your uploading queue, and let's say you had 10 videos to upload in a day. So you would, oh, you would queue them all up. You would select all 10 videos, drag them into this window, and what YouTube would do, it would start uploading the first video, and you would order them in the order you want them to go live. So YouTube would say, okay, this one, then this one, then this one, then this one. So you could actually order the videos in the order you wanted them to upload. Uh, now the thing is, it was never a guarantee that they would actually show up in that order because YouTube processing is very finicky. Sometimes YouTube processing would go, ah, instant processing, and your video will go live within moments that it uploaded. And then other times it would just sit there and get stuck in processing for hours on end for seemingly no reason. I think it has something to do with YouTube servers. But basically you couldn't control that. That was on YouTube's end. So it used to be you could somewhat control the order that videos uploaded and went live on YouTube. It just wasn't foolproof, okay? Today, YouTube changed this. It was about maybe four or five years ago. YouTube changed this whole process. Now, let's say I want to upload 10 videos, okay? So I start uploading one. I put all the data in. I start uploading the next, and immediately it starts uploading that one too. Wait, what? So the way it works is it used to be it would upload one whole video in its entirety, then move on to the next. Upload that whole video in its entirety, then move on to the next. Now, YouTube tries to simultaneously upload all the videos at once. So if you try to queue up 10 videos to upload, it'll literally begin uploading all 10 videos at the same time. So number one, it kills your bandwidth. If you have, you know, good upload speed, which I do, it's it can handle it. But imagine if you don't have good upload speed. It just destroys your internet. And it makes everything insanely slow. It used to be, okay, one video would upload, it would take, what, 20 minutes? Then it would go to the next part. It would upload in 20 minutes. Then it would go to the next part. Now, because you're uploading all at once, it decides, oh, it'll all upload at once. Now everything's slow. And that's why sometimes what's happened is after my first stream here, I'll queue up this podcast and a few parts of the gameplay, and I'll just let it sit there and upload, and I'll go downstairs, have dinner, come back, and it's not even done uploading. And I'll be like, well, Gibbs, why didn't it finish? Because YouTube just decided to be slow that day. And because it was uploading all the videos simultaneously, it just lagged up and didn't finish. And that happens not all the time, but maybe once a week at least. And it's all on YouTube. Why they changed their process for uploading videos, I don't know. So how did this affect me? Well, you got to remember something, <clears throat> okay? All of my legacy content is on incredibly old external hard drives. That is an ancient, I think it's maybe a Seagate hard drive, from 2009. That is old technology, USB 2.0, old style hard drive, not even the mini hard drive, it's huge. So it's already slow, and now you're trying to tell that hard drive to upload 10 files at once to the internet? Do you think it can handle that? Of course it can. So basically what happens is, I'll set it up to upload all these videos, and it'll just lag up. So I ended up having to restart. I tried uploading. It just like lagged up and wasn't working. So I had to restart. And basically I had to do it. Maybe do three, four videos at a time tops. That was it. I couldn't have it like upload. Because like I told you guys, those videos are 10 minutes long. I wanted to upload like two hours of footage. That's 12 videos. Well, I can't do them all at once and walk away. I got to queue up three videos to upload. Walk away. Come back in an hour. Queue up three more videos to upload walk away, come back in an hour, queue up three more videos to upload. Do you see what a pain in the ass this is? And this is just my initial attempt to get these videos online. It's already a pain in the ass, which I knew. I knew from the moment when I was going to start working on this, there was going to be problems, all right? First thing I go to do, it's annoying, all right? So once I figure out this is how it's going to be, I just can't queue up everything and walk away. I'm going to have to actively be coming back to do this shit, which is very annoying. Some of the videos start to go live, and I have them as unlisted because the reason I'm doing this is to test the waters. These Final Fantasy 13 videos have not been on the internet for many, many years. So in those years, has YouTube cleared this kind of content? Are there copyright issues? Are there other issues? Let's see what happens, right? So all these videos upload, <clears throat> and there's tw uh, 11 of them, I want to say, like 11 videos. Part one immediately gets flagged for copyright. Immediately. <clears throat> okay? And I'm like, damn, that was fast. What is it? It's the intro song at the beginning of Final Fantasy 13. So the actual 
like intro theme song of the game gets flagged and then it flags another part of the video get this content from final fantasy 13 lightning returns but this isn't lightning returns this is the original final fantasy 13 so at some point square enix flagged the music from the sequel but it flags the same music when it plays in the original game and it's like what so how do i like how would i get around that right i the only thing i can think of i mean there's various things you can do right you could try to edit out the music you could try to replace the music or you could just say whatever let it fly this is going to be part one of the playthrough all right it's going to be the most viewed part but at the same time if it's going to be the one that has the most copyright issues maybe it just makes sense to let it have the copyright issues and i'll make nothing on this video eventually when this channel gets repartnered right like what am i going to do so i'm thinking maybe that's not so big of a deal maybe we just let it roll so part one will never be monetizable right i don't know so i continue to upload guess what just listen to this part five of the playthrough gets removed from the channel before i ever made it live what it's not visible what how could it be removed right it says get this youtube turns terms and conditions match listen to this in 2011 square enix already matched this same video on youtube for copyright and had it removed because there is a legacy claim in youtube's system from 13 years ago youtube will not allow the re-uploading of this video what so if you guys aren't aware back in the day youtube was a very different place okay there were companies that for some odd reason did not allow people to do let's plays of their games they would actively strike down channels that played their games square enix was actually one of them that's why final fantasy 13 had been put on its own separate youtube channel and that channel like i didn't have any issues on it but apparently over time square enix did strike down some of my videos i just wasn't aware because i never logged into that channel right i never i didn't care i just they were out there for a year anyone who wanted to see the playthrough already had <clears throat> and i guess at some point some of these videos had gotten blocked claimed whatever okay but here's the thing since then since 2011 thousands of people have played final fantasy 13 on youtube and not had their videos removed so what gives this is a legacy claim at one point square enix was striking people with these claims and they don't do it anymore they stopped just like every company stopped like rockstar used to do it they stopped all these nintendo used to do it they stopped everyone stopped doing it but youtube system is so outdated and stupid and automated it recognizes a claim that's 13 years old as if it's a valid claim for today and says therefore you can never re-upload that video ever again so i want you to think about that for a second as if things never change in the law things never change you know what i mean it makes no sense at all just because there was a legal claim made 13 years ago doesn't mean that legal claim stands today it should be checked it should be verified but youtube doesn't care because everything's automated okay so i have the right to dispute it and if i dispute it and win the dispute the video will go live in over two weeks but i have to dispute it but here's the thing i was just testing the waters i wasn't going to make these videos go live in this state anyway i did this on purpose I pre-uploaded the videos to test and see what would happen if I just put the raw videos on the channel. I'm glad I didn't. Do you see what I mean? If I had done this on DSP Gaming, already I would have had issues. You see, that's why I'm glad I did it this way. So, <clears throat> what is going to happen is, as I said, it's not just me working on this channel. There are, there are people all collabing here to make this channel happen, okay? People actually really love the legacy content. They want to see it be presented in a modern way and a lot of people miss this old content and they want to help out so what we're going to do is we're going to take these parts likely three each okay so three parts each we're going to run these parts through an hd up filtering 
So what that's supposed to do, it's supposed to take all that blurriness and graininess away. Because remember, this was a camera pointed at my TV. It's supposed to smooth out that stuff to make it look more crisp, more HD. It's also going to have an echo filter run on it. So remember, my old commentary used to be in my, my condo, and it was a big echoing, right? It's going to try to remove some of that echo filter as well so you don't hear that anymore it'll sound more like more like my modern videos it won't sound exactly like that but it will sound a little bit better okay so that's going to happen first then once that's done then we're going to edit those videos together into roughly 30 minute segments thinking like take three videos and uh, edit them together <clears throat> so when i i asked you know i'm just curious how much work does this take just listen to this in order to do this to run each video through so a 10 minute video, okay, combined with the two others to make a three, 30 minute video will take almost four hours of work. Almost four hours of work per part of this playthrough and each part will be a half an hour long. Now, do you see what I mean when I told you guys it's not as simple as you think? It's literally not just me tossing the videos online. It wouldn't work. If I just toss the videos online, some of them will be blocked. Some of them will be muted for copyright. We got to get around those issues. And then on top of that, to actually edit these into longer parts and all of that, right? It's a ton of work. So that's why this wasn't something I ever just wanted to rush into before I was ready. I wanted to make sure that everything was prepared properly. That it was done, done, being done well. And now that I'm doing it, I see, wow, look at all this work. Right, look at all this tremendous amount of effort that's going to take to have this channel work. So, um, FYI, it's in process, okay? Basically, what, what's going to happen, here's what we're hoping. Once these videos are run through these HD filtering programs, the echo reduction programs, and once everything's edited together, it's not going to look like the old video anymore. It's going to look completely different. It's going to have different, yeah. It, I don't think that YouTube is going to match these videos to the old ones that I uploaded in 2010 and say, oh, this is a re-upload from a 2010 video that already was taken down by Square Enix. Instead, it'll recognize it as a totally new gameplay video and it should be fine, okay? But it was I was very curious because here's the thing. Now we know that particular part may have issues. So we got to be ready for that. And may, maybe we'd have to cut a part out. What is it? I don't know. It might take experimentation. Is there like a, a part of that one video that YouTube is using to identify to a literally 13 year old outdated claim from Square Enix, right? Is there something we can do to fix that? So it's all this work that has to be done. And that's why right now there's no videos on the channel, even though I uploaded all that, it's gonna take a tremendous amount of work. I can't promise you guys when you'll see the first video. All right, I don't know. I would hope, you know, we'd get some videos up this month right but i don't know and the thing is if it takes this much work just think about this i i have 11 parts ready to go so that's going to take no lie if it's four hours per three parts right so you for for the first four videos it's going to take like 12 to 24 hours of work and that's active work that's not oh i'm just you know i'm sitting here doing nothing it's active work so that's going to be probably days and days of work to weeks right so hopefully I'll get some parts up for you guys, but I don't know when, and I'm not gonna make you any promises. I would love to say, hey, it'll be live in a week, it'll be live, I don't wanna say nothing. It might be live tomorrow, it could be live in a month. I don't know, but it's being worked on, okay? But it was very interesting to attempt this and to see the process of how it's going. Um, I'm actually very excited to see what the first video looks like when it has all of this you know, up filtering and, and echo reduction, everything done to it. I'm very curious to see how that will, uh, how that will work out and how the video will look and stuff like that. So that's all in process, FYI. And I'll give you more information uh, when I have it. Right now, that's where we're at, okay? And what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to do my best. I'm just going to get, like, that whole playthrough ready to go so all the raw videos are ready to go. And then as time progresses, you know, slowly they can be worked on. They can be run through the filter, edited together, uploaded, etc., in their better form for you guys to be more digestible, all right? So that's that's uh, pretty interesting, right? I mean, very different from anything that I'd be working on. Uh, and again, it's I, I wanna uh, accentuate here, it's not just me. I'm the one with the raw footage doing the initial test. There, there's people behind the scenes really working hard because they wanna see this content, get, get recognition on the internet, get back on there in a viewable way so people can watch it. Now, here's the thing. I want to say thank you all very, very much, 
okay? Because you've already put over a thousand views. In fact, let me take a look here. Over 1,400 views in climbing and over 150 new people have subscribed to DSP Throwback since I announced it yesterday. So the announcement vlog in 12 hours, getting good viewership and the you know people subscribing because they're excited for this project, that's cool. Because here's the thing, as I told you guys, in order for me to repartner that channel, okay, I need to have three uploads. Right now that's upload number one, but I need to have two more uploads. In addition, I need to have a certain amount of watch hours. And by you watching not only that announcement vlog, but if you were to go back and watch some of the legacy content on the channel as well, that would help boost the watch hours on it. So then I could get it repartnered. Now, again, here's the thing. I am not going to be doing anything on this channel with memberships or anything like that. The only point is to get the channel up and running and to maybe get some ads on the videos. That's it. That's all I really care about. I'm not going to be on this channel all the time making new content. It's just going to be this legacy content that's uploaded. Every once in a while, maybe I'll do a random stream or something on it or react to the old content, which is kind of a cool idea. But I'm not looking to have people be paid members and stuff like that. That's not my concern here. My concern is just getting it partnered to get those initial ads and things like that. You see? So it would be great if you if you checked out the channel, if you could watch that, not only the, the announcement vlog, but maybe check out some legacy stuff. And obviously, once these first videos eventually hit the channel of Final Fantasy, it would be absolutely cool if you could give them a watch, even if you're not interested, and just give me some feedback on what you think. You know what I'm saying? Like... Just let me know. Hey, do you like how the video looks? Do you like how the upscaler works? Do you, how does it sound with the echo? Do you think this is an improvement? Like I said, these are going to be half an hour installments instead of 10-minute videos like the playthrough originally was. What do you think of that? That will help. That will literally help a lot. All right? So check it out again. YouTube.com forward slash at DSP throwback. Please watch the announcement uh, vlog. That, that will help for watch hours. If you want to check out some of the legacy stuff... I would recommend, don't check out the gameplay, check out the edited videos from 2016. There was some really well done reviews, countdowns, and edited content from that year that people love. Again, my most viewed video on that channel was about Homefront the Revolution and how awfully broken that game was at launch. Apparently the game was uh, actually improved a lot years later, but it took them like two years to make it better. But at launch, that game was a complete mess and a waste of everybody's money and time. And that video went viral and got over a million views. It was the most viewed video about the game on YouTube at the time. So, so that would help. And see, Zen Shuriken just said, I already said this yesterday, but I think some people missed the point. Zen Shuriken just said it in chat. If the upscaling looks good, maybe he can do some more classic playthroughs. <clears throat> You're exactly right. <clears throat> That's the whole point. My content from the original Dark Side Filled channel looks god awful. But that's some of my oldest, most great legacy playthroughs. I have all of those files right now in hard drives. So I could take my classic playthroughs, upgrade them, <clears throat> make them look better, make them sound better, put them into half an hour segments, add thumbnails, and make a more digestible, modernized viewing experience for people on the DSP Throwback channel. And that's the point. And then, of course, I could eventually go there and do other content with it. Like I said, I could do a react to that content and say, you know, what I think about it and stuff like that. That'd be cool, right? So that's the whole idea. All right? So I hope that sounds good. Please give it a look, and I will let you guys know uh, what happens over time, you know, if and when uh, stuff is available, all right, to watch. Right now there's no content to watch besides the legacy content, just the announcement vlog, but it sure would be great if you could at least watch what's over there. You know, once the viewing hours go up, then I would be able to actually monetize said content and go from there and uh, and see what happens, all right? So, again, this is one of many things that are going to happen this year. Um, it's the first one. It's the one that's the furthest along. So I just wanted to get you guys excited. There are more things coming. In fact, I can tell you this. <clears throat> there is something else coming new, all right, that you guys are going to be very interested in within the next couple of weeks, all right? And uh, I'll talk about it when I'm ready. But it's going to be a surprise. And that's why I really don't want to spoil it. But it's something very cool that I think you guys are going to enjoy. All right? So more on future things coming this year soon, but not yet. <clears throat> okay. All right. So I worked last night on DSP Throwback. 
I literally was uploading videos like late, and that's why I didn't get to work on the whole best of 2023 uh, countdown nominations. And I will work on those hopefully tonight. We'll see. I got the drip going. 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 It's like a faucet that's dripping. You can't make it stop. So what do you want me to do? Have a have a mute button that every second I'm tapping the mute button just in case I, I'm gonna have to clear. Like this is what I mean. These, these dumb kids. This is what it is. It's dumb kids. 